Ah, bless this day, this beautiful day. Today, I'll be the best version of me. So today, I wanna to talk about the best way for you to start your day to work out. Now, what I just said is my mantra. First thing in the morning, I just shoot out of bed, okay? And that's key, is that if you lay in bed and you check any Instagram posts or Facebook direct messages, there's a good chance that any one of those messages could, or what you see on Facebook or Instagram can spiral you either up or down. To me, that's too much emotions first thing in the morning, so I would tell you the first thing you need to do is not go on your phone. Shut your alarm off, get your ass out of bed, and say your mantra. Whatever that mantra is for you, stick to it, make it your own, and make it a routine, okay? Now, a lot of people like to think about three things that they're grateful for. I often do the grateful thoughts when I'm feeling down, okay? So if I'm feeling down, or if I feel like, you know, maybe I'm just, you know, not getting exactly what I want in this world, then I think about the things that I'm grateful for. But the things that gets me fired up is the things that I'm capable of doing on that day. So for instance, I'll break down my day and if I have a very busy day, I'll say to myself, man, this is a blessing to be able to do this. If I can go out and play tennis, that's a blessing. If I get to film with Jerome, that's a blessing. You know, I get to say my message out there to everybody. So to me, I think about, okay, not so much that I'm grateful, but that I'm able and capable of doing the things that I'm given. So for you, you might be in a high demand person and you gotta understand, the more in demand you are, the more messages you get, the more emails that you get, the more people that require of you means that you provide a lot of value in this world. If nobody was to reach out to you and nobody needed you for anything, I think that there's a problem with that and that, you know, what kind of value are you bringing to the world? Now, if you don't care about any of that and you don't care about making an impact on other people's lives or, you know, being inspirational, then yeah, that's fine. But I think if you're watching this video and you follow me, you're looking to be an inspirational person. So don't look at you being busy as a burden. See it as a challenge that's gonna help you to grow and become stronger. So the first thing, have your mantra and think of the things that you're grateful for and the opportunities that you're given. Now, a lot of us like me, I gotta wet my hair, okay? This thing gets crazy, okay? It's like way out to here. And so the first thing I do is I gotta wet my hair. But instead of just wetting my hair, I just jump in a cold shower, okay? The cold shower, it just shocks you. It's just like, just imagine just having somebody just throw water on you, cold water. There's nothing that's gonna wake you up more than that. Like you're in the shower, just heavy breathing. You're getting your, like, you're stimulating your metabolism. You're getting your heart rate up. Your adrenaline's going. That's like way better than an espresso shot, okay? So it's gonna wake you up. And if you're cheap like me, <laughs> then jumping in this cold shower, cause I just wait until it gets warm, that's when I get out. So I turn the cold shower on, fire myself up, like, right? Get in there, ah, 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 and then boom, like immediately you're fire right up. And that's only like 10 to 15 seconds, but it seems like 10 to 15 minutes. But do it, try it out. Try this routine for one week and see if having the mantra, saying three things that you're grateful for or that you're capable of doing, jump in that cold shower. Then I want you to have a black tea, okay? Why black tea? I like black tea over coffee because A, there's not as much caffeine. As you know, caffeine doesn't actually give you energy. It only blocks the sleepy hormone. When you wake up, your body isn't producing sleepy hormones. The problem is that you're probably going through withdrawal because you had way too much caffeine the night before. So to create some sort of balance without creating the problem worse, then I would tell you to have black tea, which actually has fat burning properties, okay? So for me, I can't go a morning without my orange pico tea. Now I put stevia in there, which has no impact on your blood sugar. So if you're focused on fasting to burn fat, then you can add the organic stevia, which we have available here at the gym. Just add a dash and it makes that tea taste oh so sweet. And then to make your day less cluttered so that you actually have the time to work out, make sure that you have a list built out from the night before. I build out my lists week to week and then I adjust them every Sunday. So if you wanna go higher level, then you should have your entire week planned out, just like you have your food planned out in my fitness pal. And we know when we plan, we plan to win, okay? So if you could plan your day and just have a quick checklist down, and that might be like, have black tea. That might be send five emails. That might be send a great gratitude message. You know, like whatever it is, break your day down. This way you have a menu that you can follow. And when you have a menu, then time, or any other obstacles, they don't become a factor because you're already planned for success. So you're looking to start the best day and start your day off so that you're fired up for your workout, have your mantra, say the three things that you're grateful for, jump in the shower, have black tea versus coffee, 
and then have a list for your day. Now, if you're looking to surround yourself with an amazing community, and if you're looking to change up your lifestyle and you're looking to grow, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the five days. Now, if you're already a member and you watch this video to the end, then maybe we should do a belly burn together, okay? My list is already full for this next one, but I will get you in, just plant the seed with me. If not, you can also try out some of the other coaches, which you're gonna get a different perspective, a different point of view, which might help you to break past a plateau. So also, go to our website or send us a text and just mention the belly burn.